All right, Aaron Cantu here with Prince Charles Martin. Just had a nice sparring session with Latif Coyote, man. Uh, some good work. Uh, talk about this sparring session, man. How's training coming for you? Yeah, it's coming great, man. Coming on just just right, you know, the right timing. Um, we're just staying on track, man. You know what I mean? We got a date, and we gotta we gotta keep going, even even after the opponent fell through, you know. So we just gotta stay focused. When are you fighting next? Um, December twenty first. On the uh, Charlo undercard. Is, is that what it is? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. That's December twenty first. That'll be uh, in December. Ontario. Yeah, that, yeah. Okay, cool, man. And um, seems like uh, you you were working on placing your punches today and, and working on your mechanics, like Coach Manny was telling you. Absolutely. Talk about that aspect of your game. Absolutely. Um, we're just getting better every day. You know, I, every day I come in here, I just try to learn, try to take what we learned the previous day and, you know, incorporate it into the, the next days of training, whether it's sparring, whether it's hitting the bag, you know, hitting the mitts. Just just staying focused and, and doing what they tell me to do. You got a good straight left hand, and you also got a good looping left hand that comes behind your opponent's guard. Um, do you feel like that looping left hand is one of your best punches? Um, no, I, I would say, yeah, yeah, that, that's a good shot, you know, a, a hook. You know, I, I try to just keep everything good, you know, try to try to make everything be, be right. Cool, man. And uh, now... You've been in there with some credible opponents, uh, you know, Joshua, you fought uh, Kaunaki. Um, what's your outlook on, uh, on on this rematch between uh, your boy Andy and, and Anthony Joshua? Um, it's a good fight, man. I can't wait to see it, you know what I mean? Um, it's heavyweight boxing. I don't, I don't like to predict anything. Yeah. May the best man win, but I'm, I'm also going for my boy Andy, you know what I mean? Like, that's my that's my guy. So personally, I'll, I'll be I'll be going for Andy. Did you ever think that uh, people would say Anthony Joshua would have to stay on the outside, use his jab, and stay on his bike? He's always been a guy who out muscles people. In this scenario, people are saying he needs to to be on his bike. Isn't that crazy how how the the roles have turned? Yeah, I mean styles make fights, you know. So he has to stick to whatever's gonna be um, beneficial to him. You know what I mean? Because you know everything's different. You know you can't you can't muscle around everybody. You know so he gotta um, do what's best for him, man. And Andy's gotta close the distance, and he's a master at doing that. We know that Anthony Joshua's had conditioning issues throughout his career. Do you see this fight going twelve? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't. I don't think no heavyweight. When's the last time you seen a big heavyweight fight go to distance? Well, Tyson Fury and and Wilder, but I mean. He really didn't be, beat the count. If you if you look at it, he, they kind of let him get up, and he kind of didn't. Then he kind of it was over. The fight was over. Yeah, yeah, they did. The fight was over. And uh, I don't know. Were you talking about the Wilder Ortiz fight? You don't think that fight's going past six? Yeah, I mean heavyweight boxing, man. It, it don't it don't go the distance. <laughs> we some hitters, man. Everybody in the in the division, the top top people in the division is is some hitters. So I I don't see him going. The distance. I One punch could change the fight. Yeah, right? that changes. That changes all the momentum. You know, one punch is all it takes. Really, in any division, you know what I mean. Any, any, any shot. But it, but it's a, it, is, it's heightened in the heavyweight but it's heightened division. Heightened in the heavyweights, exactly. Yeah. You know, so like I said, um, made the best man win. Look forward to it. And Charles, uh, you're you're kind of staying relevant, staying in the gym, and um, you feel like you'll be able to make another run at, at the top. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, that's what I'm here for. Definitely, man. And then uh, last question is, um, uh, growing up, who did you model your game after as far as stylistically? Boxing? Yeah, boxing. Um, well, I got I, – I, I wasn't boxing when I was young, you know what I mean? So – but, you know, I used to try and keep my footwork, you know, like a Ali or something. You know, I, I like I like Julio Cesar Chavez, so I try to, you know – I want to be able to punch, punch like stone. You know what I mean? Fucking knock, knock through people. You know, just, just be, be a boxing heavy hitting heavyweight.